You want to get this real life feedback from people that are going to be burning your candles in a real life way. Us as candle makers, I mean, I don't know about you, I'm constantly like, normal people don't light a candle and then just like stare at it every couple minutes or like when you walk by, like I don't enjoy <laughs> seeing a candle lit and be like, wow, it's very peaceful. Like I'm looking at it, like how long has it been burning? How's the melt pool? Like, is it burning too fast? Is it, is it starting to tunnel? Like. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica with Memory Box Candle Co. And I make videos all about the journey of starting a candle business. And in today's video, I am going to be highlighting five important things that you need to make sure that you're doing before you sell your very first candle. So let's go ahead and get right into it. The first one that I'm going to mention, can anybody guess, does anybody have a wild guess on what I'm going to say before you sell your candle? you have to make sure that you test your candles. This is imperative to your candle business. You have to make sure that you are making your candles properly. You are testing them. You're going through all the different fragrance oils and testing them with your wax, wax blend, the vessel that you're working with, the wax that you're working with, um, the wicks that you're working with. You just have to make sure that you are going through that testing process because we don't want our customers to be the first people that test our product. Um, when I very first got into candle making, I actually did not even know about testing and I wasn't selling them yet. I was just giving them away as gifts. But even then, if you're just giving them away as gifts, you want to make sure that you are testing your candles, that you're putting the warning labels on the bottom. We just want to make sure that we are selling a safe candle and that is absolutely number one before you even think about anything else on this list. You have to make sure that you have tested your candles. The second thing that you want to make sure that you do is know how you're going to be shipping out your candles prior to listing them for sale. So whether or not you are going to be selling um, on Etsy, on your own website, like your own Shopify site, or even just through Instagram, Facebook, whatever it is that you're actually going to be shipping out your products, make sure that you take the time to understand and learn how to actually ship online because this is something that I do see a lot of people do. They just kind of put the candle on there and then they're thinking okay well I'll just figure out the shipping part later but whatever you list online you have to know how you are going to ship that out prior to actually putting that item up for sale and that's actually something that I did make a mistake of in the beginning now this was not necessarily um, with my candle business but I did this when I resold on eBay I accidentally well not accidentally I just put free shipping because I wasn't sure how to sell it so I listed an item for sale I think it was like a video game and it sold really really quickly I just was not expecting it to sell that fast and I just remember running around thinking oh my gosh I have no idea how to ship this so I had to figure that out, but it was kind of stressful, it was overwhelming, and it was just kind of like, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, and if you feel like you're in that same boat, like you wanna start a candle business, you're kind of heading towards that direction, but the shipping part is kind of like really overwhelming. Um, I am in the moment creating a curated shipping course to really go step-by-step step and walk you through to make you as confident as possible for you to ship out your candles and know that you're doing it right and not have that be a worry anymore. So I am working on that. It's not out yet. Um, I am kind of at the beginning stages of it right now, but if you want to be notified when that course is released um, and it's open for enrollment, I do have a waitlist link in the description box below as well as in the pinned comment. So you can check that out, um, but definitely make sure that before or you list anything online for sale that you know exactly how you're gonna ship it out because not only is that going to save you money, it's also gonna save you kind of the hassle and the stress of just trying to get it figured out and you only have that short amount of time to get it figured out before you have to get it shipped out to the customer. Also one bonus tip that I wanted to add that is related to the shipping portion is make sure that you do some test shipments. So if you have friends, family, 
old coworkers that have moved away that live in different parts of the country than you do, make sure that you are sending them your candles for them to let you know how it arrives, if it's broken, um, if you packaged it correctly. Um, you just wanna make sure that it's going to arrive to the customer in great condition. So just do some test shipments and see kind of the response that you get from your friends and family because it's better to test with people that you know than start testing right away with just customers because we wanna make sure that we are giving the best possible experience from the moment that they get your package at the door. The third thing that you need to do is get business insurance. Trust me, I see this all the time in Facebook groups, on my comments, on my videos of people being like, do I, re do I really though? Do I really need to get business insurance? Yes, you need to get business insurance. Think about it like any other insurance, health insurance, car insurance, there's probably other insurance, renter's insurance, all these different insurances that just in case something happens, you have that insurance. And there's probably been many times where you've needed car insurance and let's say you went a couple years, but the moment that you needed it, you needed it. So just make sure that you are protecting yourself and um, getting that business insurance. It's really not that much in, in the grand scheme of things. I think for most insurance policies, it's anywhere from 30 to $50 a month or something like that. There's indie business insurance. I have Liberty Mutual. I think Jeff did a whole video talking about the different insurances. Um, so just make sure that you insure your business and also get your business license and your seller's permit um, and just all these different things that you need to look into. So just more of that legal side of things. So just take a moment to look into it. Um, I actually waited way too long to get my business license and it freaked me out thinking that I was going to get denied. So just make sure that you do these things prior to actually you know, getting momentum done in your business. That way you feel a lot more um, just you feel better. You feel like you're more legally sound and, and you are more um, confident when you're selling. It just makes you feel so much better. The fourth thing that you need to do before you sell any candles is make sure that you have a marketing strategy. There's nothing more disappointing than when you're spending all that time creating a product, especially a handmade item that we already feel a hundred times more connected to than just a product that we are purchasing to then resell. It's a whole different story, trust me. Um, there's nothing more disappointing than spending all that time on making something and feeling so connected to it. And then you put it out into the world for people to purchase and then no Nobody buys it and then you get discouraged and you just think okay what's wrong with me what's wrong with that and it's just because you need to make sure that you're identifying who it is that you're selling to and where to find them and then how to get, get your products in front of your ideal customer so there is a lot of kind of that back-end work of that marketing strategy that you do need to be thinking about because at the end of the day it is business and marketing and business go hand in hand so if you want to be a business owner make sure that you are also looking into the different marketing strategies to be able to get your product in front of your ideal customer so that you don't have to go through that disappointing phase of nobody's buying my candle and I just kind of put it out there and nobody's buying it. Why is that happening? And I know that that can be, again, really kind of disheartening, but if you have a strategy going into it and you know more of what you should be doing to make sure that that doesn't happen or that that only happens for a short amount of time in the very beginning and then you can start to gain traction on those sales, then you can feel a lot better going into the actual selling process like you have a plan in place. And the fifth and final thing that you need to do before you sell your candles is give before you sell. This means give away some of your products for free to some people. You want to make sure that you are getting feedback from people. Do people like it? Are people having problems? Um, is the hot throw good? Is the, is the cold throw good? Is it burning way too hot? Is it dangerous? Um, is it tunneling? You wanna get this real life feedback from people that are going to be burning your candles in a real life way. Us as candle makers, I mean, I don't know about you, I'm constantly like, Normal people don't light a candle and then just like stare at it every couple minutes or like when you walk by, like I don't enjoy <laughs> seeing a candle lit and be like, wow, it's very peaceful. Like I'm looking at it, like how long has it been burning? How's the melt pool? Like, is it burning too fast? Is it, is it starting to tunnel? Like 
I, I just, I mean, you probably the same way. Like you just start thinking in your head, like, is this a good performing candle or not? And so that's not how normal people think. So you need to get a normal person's feedback from your products. And that was something that I had such a great time doing in the very beginning. My coworkers loved my products. Actually, I haven't worked at my past job in over two years and I still have a coworker and her family that purchases from me still to this day. They just put in a couple orders for the fall collection and they just love my products so much. And that's something that it's the most rewarding thing ever when you create a product and you don't feel like you have to be overly salesy, you don't have to be desperate for sales, you don't have to beg people to purchase from you. When the product is good enough, it's gonna speak for itself and people are going to want to return. Um, I'm going to use an analogy and I hope that you're not, um, you, you'll know what I mean by that. But uh, if I give this analogy of like, <laughs> I don't know why I think it's funny, but I'm just gonna say it. So like drug dealers, they're not going to give people for free like the crappiest product that they have. They're going to give them like the best stuff in order for them to keep coming back. Obviously it's not the same, but you know what I mean. If your product is good enough, people are going to want to return and purchase more from you. So this is why like I have no problem giving away one of my candles for free to somebody for them to try out. We just did that with one of our friends and then they made a purchase order of three more candles. So I think that giving before you sell not only helps with marketing, which is so funny to think about that, like just giving away your product for free, but it really can be sometimes. But also in the very beginning, you can get that feedback from people prior to actually selling your product. And then if they really like it, they'll have it at their house and other people will smell it. And oh my gosh, where did you get this? And then that starts the word of mouth and word of mouth with friends of friends of friends of friends is a really good way to grow your business. So that kind of goes back into the marketing aspect of it. Um, but I think that is all that I wanted to say. Let me look at my notes. Yep. That is all that I wanted to say for this video. I could probably make another list of this if you're if you're wondering as well, because there's definitely more things. This isn't kind of an exhaustive list. This is just kind of some top things that I wanted to mention in case you're in that um, area of going to be launching a business or you're thinking about starting a candle business. These are definitely things that you should be thinking about prior to launching your candle business. Um, but with that, I'm going to end today's video right here. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave it a big thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at memorybuxcandleco. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.